my, my, my. What a mess we have here. Looks like a triple homicide. We got one Elwood Rubenstein shot in the chest and his wife. Much younger wife. Stabbed in the gut and... Uh, Paul, Mr. Rubenstein's personal bodyguard. A bullet wound right to the head. That is a one in a million shot. You look like you stink, but you don't. What do you say we get this wrapped up before they all start stinking up the joint? Any ideas? Maybe a classic lover's quarrel. You still don't get it. We're through, it's over. What do you mean, it's over? Oh, how dense can a person be? Here, let me use small words so you'll be sure to understand. I don't love you. But you love the lifestyle I provide. I don't give a damn about your money. It's not worth it anymore. So you're just gonna walk out on me? No, Elwood, we're gonna walk out on you. Paul. Sorry, boss. Paul? No, that's not gonna happen. And Rubenstein dies. Hold it. What? Who killed the dame? She was stabbed with that knife on the floor. I think you got the wrong motive, Danny. I don't think she was tired of him at all. I think he was tired of her. I provide everything for you. I take care of your every need. My needs? What about my wants? A girl gets accustomed to certain luxuries every now and then. <sighs> now and then. I swear, woman, you spend money faster than I can make it. Oh, for heaven's sake, darling, don't be so stingy. We're rich. No, darling, I'm rich. Two problems with that. Where was she hiding the gun? And where the hell did she learn to shoot like that? Okay, you're right. Tell me what you think of this. Suppose the Rubensteins are both very much in love with each other. What if money was the motive here? <laughs> I said open that case. Okay, okay, just don't hurt her, Paul. Unlock the case. Give me a minute and I'll give you everything you want. My sediments exactly, boss. I want my share of that loot. Then you and the missus can live happily ever after. Now let her go. Where's the money? There is no money, Paul. I moved it yesterday. Double crossing son of a- No! <laughs> that almost fits except for one detail. Bodyguard. Sorry, doll. And then Mr. Rubenstein shoots his bodyguard. Let's lay tracks. I'm sure there are other crimes that need solving. When I was a kid, I used to believe it took cops a long time to solve a crime. What about now? Nah, it's a cakewalk. Good night, Dad. Good night, son. Detectives? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's going on here, fellas? Well, Mr. Rubenstein, 
Danny and I have been discussing our little arrangement here and we both decided that what with the national economy being what it is these days and More all, money, Rubenstein. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> okay, okay, just don't hurt her. I'll give you what you want. Now let her go. Put the gun down, Rubenstein, I'll kill her. What about the dame? No witnesses, Danny. I did not want anybody to get hurt here today, Danny, but Rubenstein went and pulled a gun on us. My, my, my. What a mess we have here. Looks like a triple homicide. We got one Elwood Rubenstein shot in the chest and his wife, much younger wife, stabbed in the gut and Paul, Mr. Rubenstein's personal bodyguard, a bullet wound right to the head. That is a one in a million shot. You look like you stink, but you don't. What do you say we get this wrapped up before they all start stinking up the joint? Any ideas? Maybe a classic lover's quarrel. <laughs>